That's my good word, G. Life is a scam. Hmm? It's a big problem where corporations are literally draining and exploiting you of your vitality to pay wow. for every ounce of resource that is available to us all. Think about it. They might even tax or charge you for oxygen, even wow. breathing eventually at this point. Come on now, bro, bro. Any excuse to keep the average person working their whole life. Blood, sweat, and tears dedicated to the grind of a nine to five to finally after 30 years. Enjoy a retirement where being sick and frail, you can't even enjoy the money you put so many decades of hard lengthening slave labor into. Ever feel like you're running on a treadmill? Like no matter how hard you push yourself, you just can't seem to get ahead. Working harder, putting in longer hours, yet feeling like you're getting nowhere. It's a frustrating cycle that many of us know all too well. That's not an accident. That's the cost of living scam in action. It's a hidden force that keeps us trapped in a never-ending loop of stress and financial strain. We're told it's simple economics, supply and demand. But what if there's more to the story? What if the rules of the game are being manipulated behind the scenes? The truth is far more sinister. Prices don't just rise and fall naturally. They're often influenced by powerful entities with their own agendas. The price of everything from groceries to gas to rent is being manipulated. These rising costs aren't just a coincidence. They're a result of deliberate actions taken by those who stand to profit. Corporations and powerful interest groups have a vested interest in keeping prices high. They benefit while the average person struggles to make ends meet. By who? And how can we fight back? It's a complex web of influence and control, but understanding it is the first step. Listen to this video to uncover the truth and learn how we can stand up against this system. Thing I love you. Something is seriously wrong with you if you don't believe capitalism has this dark side to it. On Fokinem Grave, there's a reason humans are not growing in a positive manner, but growing in consumerism. This. This isn't about blaming some shadowy cabal. It's about understanding the system. Big corporations with their endless hunger for profit are the architects. They control supply chains, dictate prices and lobby governments for favorable policies. They thrive on our dependence. Our silence is their greatest weapon. This is why I'm speaking on this, because when the French toast did it become normal to be charged for just existing to be taxed on every cent we spend, there's no silencing me. On God we gone speak on this goofy, expensive economy. Consider your cell phone bill. Why does it seem to keep increasing? Hidden fees, bundled services and planned obsolescence keep us hooked. Or housing. Private equity firms buy up properties, driving up rents and squeezing out regular people. These are just two examples of a system rigged against us. We're taught that competition is good. It lowers prices, right? But what happens when a few giant corporations dominate entire industries? They can artificially inflate prices, crush smaller competitors, and stifle innovation. The result? Less choice, higher costs, and a system designed to benefit the few, not the many. The true people behind this are the ones sitting at the round table with their Illuminati candles, talking about the next big world, pandemic, and knowing exactly when they want it to happen. Usually, I don't talk about conspiracies. However, I'm not dumb enough to think all tax dollars are being used justifiably. No. This isn't just about numbers on a spreadsheet. It's about the lives behind those numbers, the faces we often overlook. This is about real people struggling to make ends meet. Families who are doing everything they can, yet still find themselves falling short. Single mothers working two, sometimes even three jobs just to put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. They sacrifice their own well-being for the sake of their children. Seniors who have worked their entire lives now forced to choose between buying their medication or paying their rent. They should be enjoying their golden years, not living in fear of financial ruin. The human cost of this manufactured crisis is staggering. It's not just about the money, it's about the emotional and psychological toll it takes on families, the stress, the anxiety, the feeling of hopelessness. We need to start seeing these struggles. 
hearing these stories and demanding better. We need to advocate for policies that support these individuals that provide a safety net for those who need it most. It's time to put people before profits to prioritize human dignity over financial gain. Only then can we truly make a difference. No lie. We want to make a difference for the people, but the real ones already know. This is the devil's world, and that's not how it works. If anything, they want us to multiply faster while simultaneously being more naive and more stupid distracted by our own problems and personal prisons. The stupid reproduced with the dumb at a faster rate, economically already predicting by 2050 we will be at 9 billion population across the entire world. Guess what that equals? More profits and more consumerism for the ones running the corrupted systems. The first step to change is awareness. We need to educate ourselves and others about how this system operates. Share information, start conversations, and challenge the status quo. Support businesses that prioritize fairness and sustainability. Demand transparency from our elected officials. Our collective voice has power. If you made it this far in a video, you already know what to do. Go ahead and do this right now, slap the like button. Because honestly, you have to be a smart individual to at least try to understand perspective. Even if you wouldn't agree with everything in this video, we like people like you. No ditty. The cost of living scam doesn't have to be our reality. We are at a pivotal moment in history where we can choose to make a difference. The rising costs and economic pressures we face are not insurmountable obstacles, but challenges that we can overcome together. By understanding the forces at play, we can start to dismantle them. It's crucial to educate ourselves about the economic systems that govern our lives. Knowledge is power, and with it, we can identify the root causes of inequality and work towards dismantling these unjust structures. We can demand better from our leaders, support ethical businesses, and make conscious choices that reflect our values. By holding our leaders accountable and supporting businesses that prioritize people over profit, we can drive significant change. Every purchase we make and every vote we cast can contribute to a fairer economy and build a more just and equitable system for everyone. This means advocating for policies that promote social justice, investing in community programs and ensuring that everyone has access to the resources they need to thrive. Together, we can create a society where fairness and sustainability are at the core of our economic practices. The time for complacency is over. We can no longer afford to sit back and hope for change. It's time to awaken to the possibilities of what we can achieve when we come together with a shared vision for a better future. The time for action is now. Let's engage proactively with our communities, participate in local initiatives, and support movements that aim to create lasting change. By taking these steps, we can ensure that our future is not only fairer, but also more sustainable for generations to come. I usually don't make these type of videos. However, my view's been kind of funny lately, so I'm experimenting from an organic place. If you've made it to this point, Go ahead and put in the comments your thoughts and opinions about this topic, plus go ahead and subscribe. You already know you want more value. Like this video, baby. So one of the two videos popping up next on your screen right about now, I guarantee you it will be just as entertaining, or if not more compact with valuable information. That will keep your mind in shape. I appreciate all my day. One supporters once again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.